Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Oh man, it's been so manic recently. I've been wanting to uh, make some more Revive videos, but I just haven't had uh, a lot of time to uh, to focus on them. I've been doing uh, other projects, more Revive installs and a lot of uh, Microsoft Team integrations and stuff like that. Uh, but today is just going to be a quick video. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to patch the, uh, the lab system manager that we built in the, the last video that I published. Um, and the steps are really pretty easy. Um, the first things that you need to have are obviously uh, WinSCP access to System Manager, um, PuTTY as well, or you can use the VMware console. And I'm also going to need to download the uh, the System Manager patch files from the Avaya support website. So now I've got my files, what we need to do is open up a WinSCP session to the, uh, the System Manager. And we need to just click back on this a few times. Let me just make this a little bit bigger. So... Uh, guys can see what I'm doing. So what we need to do is we need to go back to the uh, the root uh, file system and then there's a folder called SW library. And what we're going to be doing is uh, these files that I've downloaded from the support website. These are the latest 8.1.3 uh, patch files. And there's also uh, like a roll up hotfix too as well, which we'll apply after this one. What we need to do is just uh, copy these into the software library and then just allow it a, a minute or two for it to copy over. Now I've logged into the system manager using PuTTY on an SSH connection. And uh, if we type in, if we log in and we type in alias, what it will do is it will give us a list of commands that um, you know, are available to us. And the alias command is actually quite good because it lists out all the commands here. So you could enable EASG if it hasn't been enabled. Um, this is the important one which we're going to be taking a look at very shortly. Um, but there's other things you can do in here as well. Um, if you need to change the uh, the IP or the FQDN of the of system manager, then there's a, a change IP FQDN command. Uh, the same with the VFQDN and the public IP. You can also configure NTP, out of band management, time zones. Um, you can also do certificate stuff through here as well. Um, and you can also edit host. Although I don't think in uh, 8.1 uh, the edit host command is actually still supported. Um, but there's various other things you can do. Uh, if you want to have a play around with it, then I just log in and type in alias. But the one what we're going to be interested in is this SMGR patch deploy. So now I have my security patches uh, and my main patch here what we can do now quickly is if we just change directory to the sw library folder and then we do an ls minus lth uh, you'll see that the two files are actually present in here now these have to be done in order and this one here has to be done first and then the hotfix has to be done afterwards usually these patch files kind of supersede the uh, the previous one so uh, if there was an 8.1.2 patch then 8.1.3 would uh, contain the uh, the patch information for the the previous update so what we need to do is to kick this off now we've got the file and we're in the uh, directory of the software library what we need to do is just type in smgr patch deployment and you can just press tab on that to uh to get it to auto fill the rest of it and then we're going to specify our file name so system manager underscore 8.1 and it's found it there already if i just press tab so what we need to do now is just press enter on that and then enter our password for the user account we're logged in as so we can uh, execute it as sudo and then what it will do is it will just verify the uh, the patch binary there'll be an end user license agreement that we just have to accept um, and then I think it will do another check on the file, and then what it will do is it will uh, it will start patching the system. Now, depending on the uh, you know the hardware that your system manager is running on, also um, you know obviously it accounts for the the amount of time the patch takes to uh, to complete. Now I'm running this on a, a reasonably old Dell, uh, I think it's a Dell Power Edge 710 server. So uh, for me, it will take quite a you know, quite a long period of time. It may take a couple of hours, but on a later server, on a Dell uh, VRTX or a, an R640 or one of the later HP servers, it shouldn't take any more than about half an hour. So we'll just wait for this patch binary to uh, to get verified. It can take a couple of minutes, as I said. Depends what kind of system that we're running on. Yeah, whilst that's doing that, I um, 
I'm going to have some more videos in store for you guys. I'm going to, uh, obviously, the whole purpose of this, uh, these whole videos is to uh, basically demonstrate how to uh, install and configure a um, an Avaya Aura system from scratch. So um, we're starting with System Manager. There's going to be some more videos that are coming up. So we're going to be installing Session Manager using SDM. We'll be patching the Session Manager. We'll be installing Communication Manager. So I will explain and demonstrate how to install all of that how to uh, patch it, how to generate the certificates. And uh, yeah, we're basically going to uh, going to set up an Aura 8.1 system from scratch um, to get it up and working. So uh, yeah, I, I look forward to uh, making some of those videos. And now this thing looks like it's going to do something. So uh, just be patient and we'll wait for it to uh, present us with the next step. So now it's extracting var, uh, files to the uh, the var patches directory. So yeah, things have just been really busy at the moment. I wanted to get those videos made within the last couple of weeks. I was uh, I was aiming to do a, a video at least you know every couple of or two or three days, but unfortunately that um that wish hasn't hasn't come true because of uh work and stuff like that with a lot of uh, different projects on the go more uh, via installs and also uh, I've been doing a lot of uh, Microsoft team stuff as well but anyway I digress um, so yeah we can press any key to read the Avaya software license terms so what we need to do is uh, I mean you can read this if you want to but what we'll do is we'll just press space a few times to, uh, to skip through that and then if you accept it, press Y. If I uh, don't accept it, um, enter N and then press Enter. But we, we're going to want to accept this. So we'll put Y in there and press Enter. And then what it does is it just, uh, you know, it just checks for the uh, the patch prereqs. So it will do a quick check on the system. Um, for example, uh, if you were to uh, load an earlier patch on to a later one, it would do a check. And then it would say, no, the patch is already installed and all sorts of stuff like that. So what we need to do now is uh, we need to be patient and we need to wait for this process to finish. What will happen now is uh, the system manager web page will actually be, um, it'll actually be unusable now. So we won't be able to get to it because uh, the JBoss service and all those sorts of things will, uh, will be stopped in order for this patch to uh this patch execution process to uh successfully complete so what we'll do now is i'm going to stop the video i'm going to call it uh call it a day there i'm not going to make the video um execute in this hotfix patch because the process is exactly the same so if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos give me the thumbs up Click the uh, subscribe button down the bottom and please leave a comment down below. I'd love to uh, hear from you guys and uh, yeah, any suggestions, any videos to make or any demonstration, please uh, put the suggestions in the comment section and uh, yeah, we'll take a look. Okay guys, enjoy.